don't want to get screwed. I put more on the uh, second match of the day where it's going to get a little bit more spicy, but this is definitely going to be a big one. I think Fnatic have the edge because they have played against Mad Lions already once very recently, and so they should be able to adapt and overcome. Big shots coming through there. This is just non-stop action on the B side right out the gates. They are getting flanked by Golden, so, you know, another 10 seconds here, and this is going to get really tricky for the Danes. Refresh, though, with a good kill, taking down Crims, and suddenly it's a two-on-two. This is very cool from Brolin, though. He spotted out. Not only did he spot the one close, he spotted the other on stairs. So they know right from the beginning going into this Fnatic where these two players are from Mad Lions. They're on the bomb site now, and there it is. Brolin pushing forward, collects another headshot. Acor hanging on by a thread, but not for long. Golden takes him out. Three kills for Brolin. The young gun from Gamers. He is a wild player, isn't he? Definitely. Good. Into the next round, they don't want to yeah. be spending more money. Boost gets spotted, instant headshot on refresh, that gives it away. Crims with that MP9 is going to move up a bit closer, but that's fine. Pretty sure he spots that shadow. Yep, collects the one, knows that there's a second one there because of the boost. And yeah, an they just job. annihilated him. Yeah, they did that really well. Super clean. Yeah, and, I mean, and you, it's a good point as well that you made because you're obviously buying these here, you're more well prepared, but then on the other hand, if you end up losing five of them... Oh! <laughs> it's only the... The more powerful. Ballers all around. Brolin jumping down. They definitely saw that, but they can't really react in time now. They do win the one fight. Flusher going down. That's pretty big, but that late grenade. That's close. Oh, turning away at the nick of time there. Needs to win this fight. JW's going to miss it, though. Refresh wins that duel. Two on two. Both tagged up on the side of Mad Lions, though. This favors Fnatic still. That oh, It's just a molly. Onto the bomb site. Does it spread? It doesn't spread. He's managing to get around. The AKs are a bit of an issue just in terms of the one-shot headshot potential, but let's see what happens here. Refresh going to pick off one. Crims now out in the open. Yeah, and he, I think he saw the shadow. You must have seen that, Shorty. We're relocating. Refresh will get one more. They survive on 12 and 20. Seeing that through the grading is so, so close. close, isn't it? Some shots. Well, there's JW making up for the last round here, and they're going to yeah just take turns. Three of them fighting all at the same time. Hooksy will find a way to take down Brawlin at the very least, but still inside of the bomb site is Flusher with an MP9. Sure enough, and he's going to get one. Does his job. Man advantage now going into it. The retake here for Fnatic. Very quick rounds coming yeah. through here. Smart, I think, for Refresh to stay in the middle like this, because, again, he's just trying to catch someone rotating, and they, they feel, looks like they sort of know it, but the flank is also coming in JW, so we'll see. Just a deagle on uh, Golden at the moment. Spots out for it. Aiko now, he knows at the very least. And, yeah, they're going to be catching them, actually. They're being so aggressive in this uh, afterplant here, Mad Lions. Going to keep on flashing their way through, trying to mm. just essentially push and take this fight. And, yeah, that actually completely catches Fnatic. I don't think they were ready for that much of an aggressive. They lost two people over at the A ramp and just went back on one anyway. Yeah. But they managed to catch a kill on Roland for free, which is surprising considering how... It was looking pretty grim. Now, they are walking in exactly where the M4 is. Golden's going to take a bit of attention. It's a good and important return there to not let the M4 just spray them all down. That would have been the disaster, surely. Just, uh, I mean, maybe worth pointing out here while, you know, like, they don't even have to worry about it. So you just, I feel like you have to show some presence. You have to try, and that will probably, some of the time, involve a bit worried about that site getting overwhelmed. Now, Hooksy, right there, going to look for it. Big spray, and he gets taken up by Crims. JW with the flank as well. Definitely a big opportunity right there that he, I think he kind of missed a little bit. I think he was sort of halfway moving while spraying. Refresh picked up another AK, but he can't complete the kill. And there's such a really good defense coming in here from Fnatic. Looked like there was a big moment there to catch them. Echo! Oh dear! How does that even work? We are gonna, gonna pick up the bomb finally with eight seconds left. Surely got possible here. Brolin goes for the kill, and that is enough to win the round. Nice triple on him and Fnatic. They find a way out here. Now he has planted the nick of time. He's gonna say, it's time to hold your breath and see. Like, I don't know if I'm just making it up, but I. It looked like it. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Bang for Mad Lions, and with that bomb plant, it really helped them out here. Acor's got an AWP. They have some nades. JW, though, playing so aggressively. Acor just five at the beginning of the round, and you just accept it. Funnily enough, Mad Lions have the same issue with Acor. So, you know, this time it went in his favor, but it's going to put Fnatic in a very tight spot here. Yeah. Spot, Brolin, dodging the damage. Oh, nice spray through. Nearly takes out Hook. That, you know, they're going to get the right angle, I'm sure of it, so... Got a little bit of a shot coming through. Flush had the last one left. He's going to go straight on and try and see if he can maybe 
do something there, but yeah, there is going to be way too many people. Sight Fnatic think that the that Mad Lions are coming back towards B. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, why not go? You got a double nade there. They got an JW up close. P250 though. And unfortunately for him there, that angle just does not work. You can see clearly, JW doesn't see him there. Refresh will. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you definitely, you're definitely counting on people not checking it all the way. All right, so it was a very, it's a very relaxing round here for Mad Lions. Just almost like a therapeutic round. Just yeah. Getting to bop some people left and right. It's all nice gonna be good. Smooth. They're doing some deep breathing, you know. That's what, that's what you need to do. All right, five to three. I'd say this is a, this is a very good start right now for uh, for the. Well, he decides to go for the M4 instead. <laughs> you know, I was just checking my uh, my emails mm -hmm. um, when we were sending in the predictions. Yeah. And I did actually go 700 on Mad Lions. <laughs> okay. So it's just a graphic. Why you gotta be lying like that? You know? Listen, it's, it, apparently it's worse than lying. We will have the correct prediction. Because I remember you saying it too and being so confident, so I was shocked to see the graphic be different. Nice oh, spray coming in. Nice. Flush of catching him, boosting over that smoke. It's fantastic, isn't it? Well, I, th I mean, one of the tricks for all the space to, uh, to to still make this a very good first half for Fnatic. So don't think that that worry. Oh, look at the timing on the flashbangs and also the Molotov that's raining down there. Brolin again at it with another multi-kill. He yeah, is beautiful. so good. So clean. Oh, shot goes out, though. JW not going to connect with that one. Oh, gets the follow-up, though. Trish has got the angle. Doesn't matter. JW takes his head off. And now all that money that they worked so hard to build here, Mad Lions, that's going to be gone as well. So Fnatic now in a fantastic position to start running away with this first half. A little bit out of the open now. So theoretically, if they both stand up while he's walking out there, it could be could be a bit dangerous. Golden's going to try and help out. Glocks are really just not that effective. And... Long range, tapping away. They're just enjoying this. Flush eventually goes down, but don't really think it's the end of the world. Again, just, yeah, don't lose anyone else, and it'll be fine. Get bopped. JW was in position with the AWP to take a shot. Blinded, though, not going to spot it. That's a big kill to open things up here from Refresh. Takes Golden out of it. Man advantage from Atlas to try and help him out. 55 seconds, bomb being planted, and Flusher, oh, he would have loved to have stopped that somehow, but Shush was covering it. Now it's a three on two. In fact, as Acor will pick up Brolin right through the smoke. I think that is, it's just, it, it happens almost all of the time when, you, when you're when you a man down on this on this map. You know, you just leave the B player. I mean, not that long ago even, and maybe it still happens a lot. You're a second too late. Brolin now, this is also not advantageous for him, and he loses the fight. Where refresh is very slow on starting that fight. That looked really awkward. He sees it first. That's the brutal part, right? Yeah, so he'll have that split second warning. Probably would. Yeah, I still had that looked so scary to me. Molotov in and Crims. Oh, that actually would have been very cool if you could have caught refresh running back from that. But two versus three. Some of them are very low on health, but I, I mean, it's hard for Fnatic to know. This can actually maybe be done if they throw if they throw a wall of smokes and just sort of run in and try and defuse behind it. It's not completely impossible here. Three versus three now. Yeah, and Golden taking Roy down, so this is actually pretty big. The walls are going to go. Oh, the smoke isn't perfect, though. Nice little surprise play there. Hooksy and Refresh getting out. And Shush, he's hoping to catch the diffuser through the smoke. It's not meant to be. Just in the nick of time, right before the bomb was about to go off. The diffuse goes through, and... Ooh, again. A little bit of a spot there. This is it, though. Everything on the line, and the nades come through, catching Refresh perfectly. Or rather, flush up perfectly. Nade from Refresh. Golden gets caught as well, trying to spot mid. He's still going to win that duel versus Hooksy. Yeah, but they don't care. They're going for the A-bomb site right away. Nearly catching that kill with the ult. That would have been something. Still got a minute left, so... Three versus four, and Fnatic are all on this side of the map. Crims. Oh, he gets two somehow! And following up here. Although now, I mean, Roy's just going to go ahead and peek this. Not the angle that's, that doesn't favor him at all. Going to get the headshot, but still one-on-one -on -one now. 16 seconds and Brolin. I wouldn't want to be up against him in a one-on-one -on -one like this. 10 seconds. If he goes for the bomb plant, I mean, there's every chance he could walk right through. Brolin knows that he's right on the other side. Acor going to hold it down and Brolin there to finish it. Yeah, he was absolutely ready. See, actually burning a little bit. Could have a bit of an angle, maybe, if, if Flusher comes back in. But no, Flusher's going to stand his ground. Could have been interesting from Flusher. He realized it was like a 50-50 where he was standing at. No, he's moving back there. That's going to cost him. Risky play there from Flusher. Yeah, flashed and, and downed almost immediately. 
JW, also gonna be careful, they're getting a little bit close now. One missed shot, there is a flank coming in as well. Crimson, JW, we get a couple of kills, and yeah, they're in a great position. No issues at all here to get the ninth round on the board. They just look really not stressed at all, Fnatic. It's good to see them just relaxing in this game, and 9-6 uh, at the end of it, I think it's just such a good scoreline, so they should be... And backup is a little bit further away than maybe you would want, although it is coming in pretty quickly. 50 seconds, it's a good opening kill. And now Mad Lions, they need something in return here before the bomb goes down. They're only going to get that one kill, but swiftly back in. Hooksy doing a pretty good job now with a big... Good from Fnatic! I love these guys. I love watching them play CS. This is... That's so solid. Now taking that extra duel though, JW. Now you're playing with fire. You could throw away the situation you have, but he gets it. Oh, unbelievable! Fnatic win this round! And it's footsteps. I believe that was Roy who was still hanging around on A. They're still walking though, Fnatic. And JW lurking in mid, gonna make this even more difficult for Mad Lions to read. But now they're up on the site. This is it. Golden. He can stick that plant. Oh, Hooksy though, gonna catch Brolan dancing on the edge of the smoke. Big shots coming in from Hooksy. He gets overwhelmed in the end. And JW still hanging out in mid looking for pot shots. Oh, wow, that was dangerous for, for Fnatic. <laughs> That could have gone way, way, way south. It's a good thing that that they managed to stay alive on that site with both Flusher and, uh, and Golden there. That was way close. But yeah, well, there were so many interesting things in that round that, that sort of went back and forth. That is a, that's a... Essentially, you could just write it off as saying, whatever, they won against Pistols, but a lot of little details. The, the fact that Mad Lions are so quick to see that they've evacuated the A-Ramp is... That, that essentially is the core of any intelligent uh, CT cycles. And well, Fnatic should be aware of this, although we will get a little bit of a push coming in. Hooksy getting caught by Flusha. Last guy you want. No. Oh, did he see him? Feels like there we go. They definitely know. There we go. And woohoo! <laughs> what a shot from refresh. It's always fun, isn't it? That I mean, they did also just boost that with a USP. So you have to you have to sort of think, even if they hadn't spotted it, what are the chances it's really going to do that much? Golden ready and waiting around would have been fun for sure. If he could have got that little. I mean, right now, yeah, you can have the hard carry from one player, or you can have everybody just winning duels everywhere. That was super ugly from Roland, but he still wins. Still gets that. Oh, Golden. Dancing, is Roy going to figure this out though? Brolan, oh, Crims seems to realize, and of course Crims. Not going to, you got to wake up early to catch Crims off though. They're just getting every duel to go their way right now, Fnatic. Yeah. That is, I mean, out of all the ways in which you could lose this round, this is definitely one of the harder ones. A call, a one versus four, and he's got that first kill. They're just coming for him. Not quite going to take the shot, but uh, yeah, they're showing up. Golden's on the other side of the smoke. Acor walking through to take him down. <laughs> Golden must have been thinking... Oh, timing there for Crims. I mean, if he walks around the corner now, the round is won. Acor has no idea. <laughs> 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 he was just turning. That's amazing. He's going to pull the trigger, and uh, I think he unscoped by accident without shooting. But whatever, no way to prove that. Uh, this is so far proving to be a dominant first map from Fnatic. I mean, it's going to be very curious to see... Very interesting to see if they can keep this up, but right now it's 13 to 6. Fnatic on the T side, looking fabulous. Roy with the flank. Deagle spray takes Golden and Brolan. Back into a three on three, just like that. And now Roy on a tear. Just continue. Crims, that's a oh, that nice transfer. Yeah, he saw that coming. That might have actually just at least uh, probably saved them in this round here. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's so weird because. It looks like it's about to be 14-6, but I, I, in some sense, it feels like that scoreline doesn't... Ooh, nice pick off there. Crims is also just a, a shot away. He's going to go pick up the AK. The scoreline doesn't really seem to do justice in some sense because like, this game has definitely felt... Waiting behind there. He's already got the double from over at the ramp. A third one to add and get to 14 rounds, and he's going to see it perfectly. Just really well done. And Fnatic... They tend to make him golden. I mean, I've just been nothing but impressed with him as an in-game leader. Yes. All the shots, though. Hooksy's gonna come in. Golden trying to take point. That's gonna open it up. He still gets a kill! But there's Hooksy with the double, bringing it back. Two on four retake scenario now. Flusher trying to do the best he can to hold the line on the point. Going to get swamped. A flash! Perfect! But he can't connect! Doesn't get the kills! Molly onto it! JW gets headshot as well. That's not gonna help. And they're just gonna charge this guy down. He is running, trying to create some room, but there's no way. He's just gonna back off and try and save this AWP. 
<laughs> teaching refresher lesson saying, you know what, kid, you may have won the round, but <laughs> do, don't sort of in there. Some backup being called for. Roy getting a bit close now, but yeah, they're waiting for it. I actually think this is very smart. Now, Aiko will get the kill on Brolin, but I love the fact that Fnatic works us. Ooh. Yeah, pushing up here, though. We are going to have Flusher trying to create some room for the rest of his team. He's right on the edge trying to abuse this smoke. Oh, that HG on a JW and gold, and they ate that. But now it is going to be bomb planted. Angle here. Flusha misses the shot. Unfortunate turn. And yeah, these are just kills after kills. It seems like Mad Lions, they've uh, remembered uh, to sharpen their fangs. Yeah, but it is definitely not done yet. There is a smoke, and that's going to be annoying for JW. And now these lost his teammates. Yeah, it's going to be even worse. I was just going to say, like, maybe if JW could just clear a bit of space, he could have done some uh, some magic with that AWP. But they'll survive the round. They'll get, again, the double orb. And this time with three members alive. That is great news for Mad Lions. Um, the money for Fnatic is still... This is a change of pace coming out now. Golden eats a bit of nade damage. Is that worth it? Yes, it is. Hits the headshot on Shush. Opening up the B site. Nice little flash over the top to create some room. And now he's out onto it. And they have no idea what to expect, Mad Lions. Is there a follow-up from this? Is there anybody else? If Golden could get the second kill, that would have been huge. Instead, he is going to... And you have the two smokes. Just smoke the gaps and go. You have to make the play across. And going before the smokes... It's just, yeah, you're dead. What yeah. was that? Oh, man. I mean, they even, he even jumped over the first shot. But, yeah, still, you're right. That uh, and, and, yeah, just the, they didn't get to, to cover everything they wanted. I'm dies sure after the actually margins at the top here. So, like, the, yeah, it, it all... Yeah, exactly. For you and me, Anders, it probably doesn't make that much of a difference. We're probably dead anyway. But, like, for guys these fa this fast, for the a chance, and if it doesn't go that way, well, then what can you do about that? Deep grenade there. Second map, by the way, would be Inferno. Passes the deciding match. All right, that's a crazy spray. It's going to be looking so good for them in this series. Hell yes. Golden. Oh, oh that oh, is absolute oh. artwork, isn't it? What a crisp player he can be. And he wants to keep going again. This is a similar thing. He wants to keep the pressure on for the rest of his team to get in behind. That's why he's being so aggressive. Shush will finally take him down. And Fnatic, what could they build behind this? Again, Golden. That was delicious. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at JW. He's just taken all of the attention away. Oh, no scope. Not connecting. <laughs> Second one. Will, what is going on? This is a Fnatic round. It's just got Fnatic written all over it. If they can't finish this, that's going to be upsetting. Flusher comes in with a kill there on Shush, but it's two on two. And Hooksy's walked up right behind. He's actually going to announce that he is, well, they both are, I guess, with a bit of a flashbang there. That is, yeah, that just let Crims knows what's coming, and he's going to take them both down. I am... What was that? Why? Although, as I say that, they do have a double op here on Mad Lions. And, well, there's Acor getting caught. Not able to pull it off. Brolan getting taken out by Roy. We do have Crims trying to create some space. Oh, JW just a second too late. Although, that is going to be Golden trying to take point. Angle clever here from Refresh. Not going to be easily spotted. And Madden's grenade. That's going to help out a little bit. Crims coming in from the one side. JW all the way back here. He's got the right idea. But Hooksy showing up with a bit of a double kill, and that will cancel out any chance here. Again, even saving it. Oh, it might be possible. All right. Nine seconds. Okay, we get another one for JW. He is low on time and health, so yeah, he's going to have to back it out. But if they'd kept coming for him, who knows? And now he's hiding essentially out in the open right underneath them. Oh, and they spot him again after the time has run out. I like that idea. Look over the box. I actually quite like that. Well, they eventually do... Get the better of Brolan. Uh, yeah, <laughs> run boost across. Nice shot there by Acor. He nearly had it. I was gonna say, I wonder how close that actually was. It looked real close to me. Not uh, this is going to be a, an excellent anti ego round here for Mad Lions. Uh, yep, impossible. So everything covered and yeah, just tech. Real nice, but it's risky. Yeah, he has no way of knowing. And again, angles. That's just, you, you You slow walk into that, shush it for an offer. It's just the easiest shot of their lives. And now, well, man advantage, four mad lines. And this is JW. He's got it, but again, <laughs> it's crazy. Just keeps finding him. Just perfectly done here. Shush now going to be the one to open this up. And he has got two kills at the beginning of this key round. There's wow. a third one taking down Flusha. And Fnatic are just hesitating at the end here, Anders. They yeah. look so good. Let's see. I mean, it's, it is a little bit scary now, isn't it, for them? Because, 
Who knows what happens in overtime, and that's just Shush now. Working on an ace. He's already got the first four of them. He does see it. <laughs> there it is. An ace for Shush. And remember, <laughs> listen, before this round, we had so far on Mad Lions. That's un unusual for a, for a, you know, one map. Hey, Roland comes charging in. Hooksy, that's a good cleanup. He's going to try and continue. Almost getting the third. He's got the Deagle out. And he's not quite hitting the shots here. But, I mean, he might have created enough of a delay. He's hunting down JW. But he hasn't reloaded yet. Now he's in trouble. JW is going to come back and get him. And a little bit of a shock here. Acorn nearly getting caught jumping up. It's going to be a 2 on 3. And Mad Lions really need to take a deep breath. With the smoke down. They've recovered a smoke, though, on JW. They have options here. It's still so early in the round with a minute left. Wow. No need to rush. It's going to be the peak, the double, and there. Getting caught, Golden. It looked like he got caught on something. Just stuck in the middle of nowhere there, on the edge of the smoke, and that ends up costing Attic. They could have been a bit more of a one-sided scoreline. And then in the second half here, oh, this is very nice. Roll out with the flash entry. Hooksy is out of the picture. Two players still here. The, you know, individual sort of instinctive play from Hooksy saying, you know, let me try. Refresh going down. JW are for the chance spray. Looks like the bomb will be going down, and things are looking really good right now for the Swedes to be able to pick up this map. It's a shot on Acor to bring him down. Shush and Roy are left, but what are they meant to do here? Two versus five. This one was just very slow and methodical for the Swedish side. Roy gets a kill, but I still don't think it's going to be anywhere near enough. Seeing some wall bangs coming out here towards the end of it. They have a smoke on Roy, so maybe they could smoke the bomb, but once again, how are you going to sit inside and try and defuse for the full five seconds? It's just never going to happen. Roy out in the open. He's down and Shush is surely going to follow. I can't see him doing this really ever. 16 to 14 and Fnatic take the map.